What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLongware and you're probably wondering why I'm at Independence Hall today. So let me explain. Let's get started. If you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know I'm from the Philly area and I only live about 15 minutes from Philadelphia, right here actually in Independence Hall, the birthplace of America. And I just wanted to put together this little list together of Phillyisms. I watch a lot of long hair YouTube channels out there and you guys probably at home as well. And you probably pick up on those different accents. I hear it all the time with the Midwest guys, the guys down South. You hear that Southern twang that they have and different things like that. And I do it a lot in my videos. I hear it all the time, especially from the Thirsty Thursday guys. You missed last week. Joe called in and was asking about uh, water and how much water he should water. be putting down. Uh, water. In, in Your phone. Home. Yes. Uh, also, they don't have uh, orange juice over there. They have orange juice. Orange so, juice. Uh, orange yeah, orange juice. Orange juice. Tiny orange juice. Yeah. It is just a terrible <laughs> accent. It is awful. Sorry, so Joe, anyway, I didn't mean it. they love my accent, the way we talk. So I wanted to put together a little list of different phrases, different words we say, and things you might even hear in some of my videos. So the first word that I say a lot on my channel, you guys probably hear me say it more than any other word, is the word water. It, that's how we pronounce it. This is how we pronounce it right here. It's water. Uh, that's just how we say it. Uh, Bryce Harper, if you guys watch baseball, he actually had it on one of his shirts. Uh, he's actually, our spring training for the Phillies is down in clear water. Uh, that was one of his famous shirts he had a couple years ago. If, you, if you're a Phillies fan, you would know that. Uh, but that leads me right into my next word, and the next word is water ice. So what water ice is, is actually shaved ice, or some places call it Italian ice, but we call it water ice. There's a bunch of franchises, a bunch of mom and pop stores around the area that sell water ice, and in the summertime, it is an awesome treat. That leads me into my next one. It is Jimmy's or sprinkles. That's what we call the toppings on ice cream. Jimmy's are chocolate, the chocolate ones that go on top of ice cream and sprinkles are the rainbow ones that go on ice cream. Uh, that's how we call them. My sons, they actually like the sprinkles. I like the Jimmy's on a uh, vanilla soft serve. That's just me, but that's what we call it. And the next one on my list is the beach. You never say the beach. You always say going down the shore. If you're going somewhere on the weekend, you're going down the shore. You're not going to the beach. The only time I will call a beach a beach is if I'm going on vacation somewhere that has an actual beach. Uh, for instance, if I'm going to Florida, I'm going to say I'm going to Daytona Beach. Or I'm going to the beach down in Florida. I'm not saying I go down to the shore. Now you guys know we had the famous TV show on MTV, the Jersey Shore, but that's not really the Jersey Shore, guys. That's not my Jersey Shore. Where I used to go to, Jer to the Jersey Shore a lot on vacation was a place called Seattle City. That is below Atlantic City. To me, that's the Jersey Shore. Anything below Atlantic City to Cape May is the true Jersey Shore. So I'm gonna hop back in my truck. We're gonna head to another spot and you're really gonna enjoy this one. So just a quick break now from Independence Hall. We are at the famous Rocky Steps. Everyone that associates a movie to Philadelphia usually associates Rocky because of the famous art museum steps. Um, we don't really call them the art museum steps. We usually call them the Rocky Steps. And as you could see, as I was running up there, it's really not that bad of a climb as you could see. Um, but when I was younger, we used to actually ride our cars up here. There's actually a couple spots here on the side you can ride your car up. Uh, we used to get cheesesteaks on like a Friday night in high school. We used to ride up here. It's a beautiful, at nighttime it's a beautiful uh, just view of the city you can see downtown right there behind me a lot of tourists come up here uh, so I suggest if you ever do come to Philadelphia check out the art museum it's just not great with the view here the art museum itself that's behind me is there's a lot of great artwork in there it's a really great time if you have kids we took our kids there a couple months ago for the first time and they absolutely loved it there's a lot of different exhibits from all different uh, parts of the world it's an awesome art museum so it's just not famous for the steps the rocky steps it's also famous for the artwork that's in it in itself so one of the things that i love to do when i go to different places either wear a phillies hat or an eagles hat i'm a diehard four for four philadelphia sports fan eagles are probably my number one but whenever i wear my eagles hat and i go somewhere and someone says go birds that's their form of saying hey how's it going or hello how you doing so if you hear go birds it means hello 
So I'm gonna take you guys to another spot that Philadelphia is very known for when it comes to food. A lot of people associate this place or this kind of food when it comes to Philadelphia. So we're in Philadelphia, and if you guys guessed it, it is a cheesesteak. We're at two really popular cheesesteak places. This is Pat's right here behind me, and I got Gino's across the street. There's basketball courts over there. If you're familiar with Netflix, a movie just came out called Hustle, starring Adam Sandler and a bunch of 76ers players. That's actually where they play some of the scenes right here at that basketball court. Growing up, I used to come to Pat's and Gino's all the time. On Friday nights, we would get a cheesesteak. We would go play basketball in the basketball courts. We had a lot of fun doing that growing up, but I'm gonna get to back to some Philly-isms for you guys right now. If you order a cheesesteak at either one of these places, you're gonna always hear somebody say American Wit, American Wit Out, or Whiz Wit, or Whiz Wit Out. That just basically means onions on it or onion, onions off of it. So I usually get American Wit. That just means, obviously, onions on it. Another popular one is use guys. You never hear people say you guys. It's always use guys. And that's how we spell it right there. It's use guys. That's how it sounds when you say it. That's how it's spelled right there. One of the most popular things that you get in the area is a hoagie. Everywhere else in the nation is known as a sub. If you say sub here, then people will not know what you're talking about. It's a hoagie. And you can find a hoagie at one of the most popular places, a like most popular, I should say, convenience store in the area. It's called Wawa. Wawa is basically basically a very nice version of 7-Eleven. And Wawa's mostly only in the Northeast area. It's mostly in the Philly, South Jersey area. There are a couple in Florida now, but they're mostly in our area. And Wawa is just a great convenience store. You can go in there, you can order a hoagie, you can order different foods, drinks, you name it. You can get it in Wawa. So the last thing on my list is we never say, can I have, please, can I have? It's always, let me get, let me get a, a, a cheesesteak. Let me get this, let me get that. And so when I get done, I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna say, let me get an American Wick, and that's how we order here in the Philly area. So that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a little bit different of a video. I just thought it was fun to put this uh, list together for you guys. I really do pick up on these accents when I watch a lot of lawn care videos and just a lot of YouTube videos in general. And I thought it was just fun to do. I'm proud of where I'm from, being from the Philly area. Uh, just really enjoyed putting this list together for you guys at home. If you enjoyed today's video today, guys, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok. Go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Florida or something, uh, or California, and the bell's ringing right behind me now.